As another example of variance in OCaml, let's take a look at binary trees. Binary trees are, of course, very sing similar to singly linked lists in that a singly linked list has nodes where every element has a single successor. In a binary tree, there are nodes, each of which can have two successors for the two subchildren. I've put code here for both alpha my list and alpha tree so we can compare it as we go along. An alpha my list was either nil or cons. An alpha tree is either leaf or node. So leaf represents an empty tree that contains nothing. Node represents a node of the tree that contains a value of type alpha, as well as another alpha tree and another alpha tree. So it's really just up to renaming all of the identifiers in it. The same definition as alpha my list, but with this final little piece tacked on of a second child of the node, whereas the list only had a single child of the node. Okay, so to create a value of such a type, uh, here's a tree T. Here's a picture of the tree we are creating. It has two at the root with one as the left child and three as the right subchild. Each of the nodes one and three themselves have two leaves as subchildren. Often we won't even bother to draw the leaves when we draw pictures of trees like this because they're uninteresting. They don't contain any data. There's really nothing to be done with them. So we'll typically leave them out. What if you wanted to take the size of a tree, which is to say the number of nodes in it? Well, the code would look a lot like the code that you would write for getting the size of a list. So in the case that either one is empty, so for the leaf constructor or for the nil constructor, we'd return zero. But for the non-empty case, which for lists would be cons, for trees would be node, I think we're going to return one plus the result of the recursive call on the children. And in the case of a list, there's one child. In the case of three, there are two children. What if you wanted to sum up all the elements of a list or a tree? Well, for a list, you'd return uh, the head plus the sum of the tail if the list is not empty. For a tree, you would return the value at the node plus the result of the recursive call on each of the subchildren. So once again, it's really pretty much the same code. Binary trees are really not that hard to implement in OCaml, and that's one of the brilliant things about functional programming.